Hey folks, this is Matt Doyle, MLSsoccer.com's Armchair Analyst, back with another edition of Between the Lines. Today we're going to take a look at Cuban-American defensive midfielder Ozzy Alonso. He got his citizenship a couple of weeks ago, and the question on a lot of fans' minds has been, how would he fit into Jurgen Klinsmann's U.S. national team? And the answer is, perfectly. Alonso is a ball winner, a true number six who leads the league in both tackling and recovering the ball, and that is ideal for Klinsmann's midfield. He's talked a lot about how he wants his team to play beautiful, intricate Spanish-style soccer, but what he's really done is clogged the middle with as many two-way players as possible, trying to force turnovers and then hit hard going forward. Alonso both forces and recovers those turnovers at a higher rate than anybody in the pool. The guys he'd be competing against for that spot primarily are Kyle Beckerman and Marisa Du. Beckerman's a little more polished, has a better passing eye, but he doesn't have the range and athleticism that Alonso has. France really exposed him last year in that friendly. Uh, Beckerman has looked good against CONCACAF teams, but I think Klinsman is looking for a more long-term solution. Adu has been the guy who has gotten the most time at that spot, but he's struggled more often than not. He's not as clean on the ball, and he adds nothing going forward, or hasn't anyway, since the Slovenia game. The other option has been Michael Bradley. Now, Bradley is probably the best in the entire pool at that position, but if you bring him back and play him right in front of the central defense, then you lose a lot of what he brings pressing forward. The U.S. offense struggles when Bradley is that deep. If Alonzo is there, he would free Bradley and probably Jermaine Jones or maybe even Benny Failhaber or Sasha Kleshin if they could get into the mix to play much higher, to play riskier, more intricate soccer, and to worry less about what's going to happen if they commit a turnover. So that explains how he'll fit. The question is, will he get a chance to? Alonzo was officially cap-tied. He represented Cuba at the 2007 Gold Cup and in youth tournaments. Usually that means the book is closed, the door is shut. However, Cuba's laws on player movement run in direct contrast to FIFA statutes. FIFA says you have the right to pursue a professional career anywhere in the world. Cuba says you do not. That means if Alonzo and his people are going to bring the case to FIFA, they need to get them to rule against Cuba and not for Alonzo. FIFA has no trouble doing that. They wrapped Nigeria on the knuckles a couple of years ago when their president tried to shut down the national team for a while. It's still a long shot, but the thing is, long shots sometimes pay off. 